What's going on YouTube? Back at you again with another video. JC Cowboys Network, you already know what it is. We had to hold it down in week three against the Giants. But now it's time for week four. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire videos. So Cowboys Nation, it's Washington week. Let's boogie. Getting to know the enemy, Terry McLaurin, AKA Scary Terry, coming in at six foot and weighing in at 209 pounds. This is a player that was drafted third round in the 2019 draft. A guy that's been their top dog at wide receiver. Despite this team's unstable quarterback situation, he has been able to cash in on some solid stats in the last three seasons. Signing a big contract this past spring with hopes of being one of the top wide receivers in the NFL. Terry McLaurin is an athlete that has the speed and quickness to take the top off the defense. He is a guy with well-oiled hips and he is slippery and has the ability to play the X, Y, and the slot receiver in their scheme. He is also a guy that can track down balls at any angle and make circus catches. So understanding where this player is and where the ball is being thrown is going to be very important because this player has a knack for making impact plays. The Washington Commanders are still trying to get this player involved in their offense. This is a player that did not see a target until the third quarter in the Eagles game. So if they continue to do that, they might be in big trouble. Enemy number two, Jonathan Allen, defensive tackle, coming in at 6'3 and weighing in at 300 pounds. This is a true three technique pass rusher, a player that has been the face of their defense for years now, and he hasn't showed any signs of slowing down. A true cornerstone athlete that we have to account for every single time we play them. Jonathan Allen is a technically sound defensive tackle, and he has the ability to shed blocks and it helps him by disengaging from blockers to get to the ball carry. He is a lineman that is very disruptive off the line of scrimmage and he's instinctive. And also having a guy like Deron Payne, a true one technique, which we call a trash can guy, a player that eats up blocks, it gives Jonathan Allen the opportunity to have one-on-ones and rush the passer. But having guys like Jason Peters and Zach Martin, I feel real good about us handling these defensive tackles, but these are guys that we have to look out for. These are two athletes that are cornerstones for the commanders, but these guys do not show up on a consistent basis when it really matters most. Keeping these guys in check will be the blueprint to getting a win on Sunday. Now let's get into Carson Wentz. This is a player that I do not believe is the answer in Washington. This is a player that takes too many sacks on third downs, he doesn't get rid of the ball on time, and he panics too often while under pressure. This is a player that has not been consistent on any of the teams he's been on. Not Philly, not the Colts, and I don't believe it's gonna be Washington either. Having a spotty quarterback like that will have you at eight and nine at best. Scott Turner is the offensive coordinator that is still trying to figure it out with Carson Wentz. So the Cowboys defense should look for him to try to pin in quick passes like screens and slants to get the ball out of Wentz's hands due to having a bad offensive line, as well as trying to keep our dangerous pass rushers off balance. If Wentz continues to do five step drops and not get the ball out of his hands in time, it could be bad news. This is the offensive line that Carson Wentz is working with. This offensive line gave up nine sacks last week and it had Wentz rattled all game. With their center being injured now, they will insert Nick Martin a former second round pick and the brother of our right guard, Zach Martin, in the lineup, but it won't be enough to stop these guys. Our front seven are true headhunters. So Carson Wentz, get ready for pressure. This is an offensive line that is not only giving up sacks from the edge, but it's giving up sacks from the interior. And we all know that interior pressure is one of the hardest things to get around because you'll have these players coming straight at you. Key matchups in the secondary. Trayvon Diggs versus Terry McLaurin. These dudes have been in some huge battles the last few games. Trayvon has made his plays and so has McLaurin. Trayvon Diggs will have to be on top of his game to slow down this player, but this might be irrelevant if Wentz can't get him the ball. Trayvon Diggs will go toe to toe with Terry McLaurin, but McLaurin will make his plays too. But Carson Wentz is gonna have to be very careful when you're throwing at Trayvon Diggs because this player is one of the better ball hawks in the NFL. Sneaky player to watch this game. 
Kevontae Turpin. This man has been rubbing at a game-breaking touchdown on special teams, and something tells me this is going to be the game he's going to do it. Washington will punt a lot, so this player will have to be ready for his moment, but I believe he springs one this game. This is another game where Cooper Rush is going to have to put on a show. We're going to have our two top wide receivers back in this game, and we're going against a team in Washington that ranks 28th in pass defense, which is one of the worst in the NFL. So opportunities will be there. They just got to stay focused. Opening the victory door. Dan Quinn and Kellen Moore are going to have to get this team right in order to pull off this win in Washington. With Dan Quinn continuing to utilize your weapons like Micah Parsons and D-Law will be critical as well as applying pressure from your secondary guys like we did last week with Donovan Wilson. With Kellen Moore, continue to do the same thing as you did the previous two weeks with Cooper Rush. Run the ball and find ways to get the ball in CeeDee Lamb's hands and we should be able to come out of this game with a win. This is a game that we gotta win Cowboys Nation. We got a lot of work to do. It's Washington week, they cannot stand us and we cannot stand them. But it's a lot of love over there because my mom is a Washington fan. She was born and raised. I'm from the DMV area, but it is what it is. I love you, mom, but we coming for y'all head. I'm sorry, that's just what it is because it's Cowboys all day. So we need to pull off this win, Dak Prescott get healthy, and we get back to it. Cooper Rush hold it down as well. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe so y'all can come vibe. You already know what it is. Gone.